with one of my sons uh, about to head off to college, I've been thinking recently, like, what have I really taught that young lad to really prepare him for life? I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. He's an amazing young man, and he is way smarter than I was at his age. Then I started thinking back to when I was his age, 34 years ago, and things that I wish I had known back then. So I put together a list of nine things that I wish I had known or better understood, better appreciated the importance of when it was time for me to start taking charge of my own life. But before we get started, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Earth Echo Foods and their Cacao Bliss. Now, in no particular order, in fact, number nine would probably be number one on the list if they were, but they're not. Uh, but maybe that's a little teaser for you to stick around till the very last one. All right, number one on the list, and I hate to admit it, but your parents were pretty much right about pretty much everything. And uh, hey, mom, I know you watch the videos, so yes, I admit uh, I may have been wrong on a thing or two growing up. And um, you know, as you learn and grow older, sometimes you gotta learn the lessons the hard way. And I've learned plenty of them that way. But if you're in your 20s or 30s or wherever you are in life, listen to your parents. Number two on the list is you need to work on maintaining your friendships. You know, when you're in high school and you're on sports teams and my boys were in Cub Scouts and all this stuff, you, you get friends there and you're, you're around them all the time, but you go off to college, you're gonna start losing touch with those friends. Yeah, you're gonna find new friends, but you know, your old friends are pretty important too. Um, some of them are. And I've had friends that I've had for since, since high school, since middle school, since elementary school, and they are some of the best friends I've had, but if you don't keep in contact with them, everybody's doing their own thing. We're all you know, starting families and jobs and moving different places. Keep in touch with your friends. Social connections are critical. In fact, even with health, they say that having strong social connections is strongly correlated with the health of your body and mind. Number three, you are responsible for everything that happens in your life. Absolutely everything. I taught my kids since they were wee little lads that um, say if somebody's punching you in the face, whose fault is it? And if you say, well, it's the person punching me in the face, then all that's gonna happen is that person is going, going to continue punching you in the face. The only way you can affect change in your life is to take personal responsibility. So you could say, hey, this is my fault. I'm in the way of this person's fist, so I need to move. So you move, you took responsibility, you're no longer getting punched in the face. So everything in your life, it's not, if it's not going exactly the way you want it, to take responsibility. If you're in a job that you don't like, take responsibility. If there's something, anything happening in your life, take responsibility. All right, number four is to invest. And when you're young, you need to invest with a bit of reckless abandon. Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you need to take chances, uh, you know, where you can get more bang for your buck when you're young, when you're Getting older, like some people, I'm not older yet, but um, when you are older, you can't take as many chances, especially when, you know, we have certain presidents that are destroying our economy. And I'm not gonna name any names, you know, I don't wanna make this political, but there's people that are losing tons of money and you need to invest when you're young and make sure you diversify, learn about investments. This is not an investment course. Uh, don't misconstrue anything as uh, financial advice, blah, 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 but start investing. And like I said, take those chances. When I was young, I started learning about gold. Gold was going up and this seems to happen with all my investments. That's why you should not take my invest investment advice. Like I waited until everybody was buying gold and it was at its highest and I, I bought, I don't know, like 
four or five uh, coins of gold. I bought a little bit of silver. And of course I bought it at its peak and then it went down and every one of my investments seems to work like that. So definitely don't just invest, don't do reckless abandon like I just said earlier. Uh, learn about investing, learn about money, but definitely start when you're young. Number five, you are the habits that you do every single day. That's, that's who you are. If you wake up once a week, once a month uh, on the weekends, and you decide that you're gonna work out, you are not a workout guy, you're not an athlete. If, if you want to learn how to shoot, for instance, if you practice once a week, if you buy a gun and don't practice, God forbid, uh, you are not a firearms expert. So whatever you want to be good at, whatever you want people to call you and whatever you think of yourself as, you need to work on those skills every single day and do it in little chunks. That's the way I teach everything. It's the way I started teaching shooting and the way I teach health and fitness. It is you have to start with little steps. You can, you can have big goals like, yeah, this is where I wanna get to, but so many people look at those big goals and those big dreams that they have and they don't do anything to reach those goals. So if you want to be something, be somebody, do anything in your life, make habits in your life that those habits are gonna make you who you are. All right, along with that, number six, it is much, 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 did I say much? Easier to stay in shape than it is to get in shape or get back in shape. So when you're young, like I remember I was when I was young, I would eat like three cheeseburgers every day. I don't remember drinking anything but Mountain Dew, of course milk, because I'm from Wisconsin. But like, I don't even know how I'm alive. And, but as I got older, when I joined the Navy, I started noticing, wait a minute, I have to actually take care of my health. And there have been times for, because of injuries, um, but I can't just blame it on that. There's been times when I just didn't work out for a while and it is much harder, especially as you get older, to get back in shape. So remember, it's easier to stay in shape than to get in shape. All right, number seven, you are never going to have as much time as you have right now. And that is to do anything that you wanna do in life. Don't put things off till tomorrow. Don't go, don't even think like, oh, I haven't started yet. Uh, I wish I would have started before. If you ever have those thoughts and those feelings, start doing whatever it is today and do one of those, start one of those habits, one of those steps that's going to get you where you want to go. So just remember, you are never gonna be as young as you are today. All right, number eight is don't try to make people happy. And that may sound a little odd or a little off, like of course you want other people to be happy, but you need to learn that you cannot change the way other people feel. People are gonna feel however they wanna feel. And there's a lot of people out there that are gonna want you to please them. That is not your job. It is their job to be happy. It's your job to be happy. And you're not gonna be happy if you're constantly trying to make other people happy. Be a good person. In fact, when my boys were young, that was one of the things I, I would always ask them. I'd go, boys, when you're older, do I want you to be rich? Do I want you to be famous? Or do I want you to be good? And they quickly learned the answer is, I want you to be a good person. So. Be a good person, but don't be a people pleaser. Don't be going out of your way, jumping through hoops, trying to make other people happy. It's never gonna happen. All right, and finally, number nine, the one you've been waiting for, should have been number one, but I didn't put these in any order, is learn what a narcissist is. And this is definitely something I wish I knew when I was 20, when I was 30, even into my 40s, I wish I knew what a narcissist is because if you don't know what one is and they get into your life, they are extremely difficult to get out of your life. They will control your life. And there seems to be more and more of them out there. I, the more people I talk to, the more people are like, yeah, um, I know what that is, I can relate. So learn what they are, learn what they do, learn how they're gonna be treating you and what signs you should be looking for. 
And once you see those signs, avoid those people at all costs. Okay, that is it for today's video. Whether you are 18, 20, 30, however old you are, I hope this information, maybe you grab just one little nugget of information that is going to make your life just a little bit more awesome. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And when you do, make sure you hit that little bell so that you will be notified every time I post new content. And until then, keep paving your path to perfection. Hey guys, real quick before you go, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Earth Echo Foods and their Cacao Bliss. This is a delicious, amazing, nutritious beverage that I have to tell you, you can see this bag is open. Guys, send me some more. It's delicious. Cacao Bliss contains 10 amazing superfoods in every scoop. I didn't say three. I didn't say five. I didn't even say 20. I said 10. 10 superfoods in every drink. First up is obviously cacao, raw cacao, and this is a healthy chocolate. And when you think cacao, think flavonoids. And when you think flavonoids, think more blood flow to your brain, more blood flow to your heart, more blood flow everywhere in your body. It is an amazing superfood. Turmeric, this improves heart health and has been shown to decrease the risk of Alzheimer's and cancer. It's got black pepper. Now, black pepper combined with turmeric. In fact, anytime you take turmeric, if you're taking a turmeric su supplement, you want to make sure that you take it with black pepper because it increases the bioavailability of the turmeric by 2000%. All right, Cacao Bliss also has healthy fats in it in the form of MCT powder. Now, not all fats are created equal. There are good fats and there are bad fats. How do we know the good fats from the bad fats? Well, you call them good fats, healthy fats, and that's what MCT powder is. And MCT actually helps you lose fat and burn fat, not create it in your body. The other thing that it does, it helps neurotransmitters in your brain. So that's right, drinking Cacao Bliss is gonna make you smarter. It also has cinnamon that helps you stabilize your blood sugar. And speaking of sugar, the only sweetener in here is monk fruit. And monk fruit, it's a natural sweetener, uh, but I use it for any time I need sugar. I don't really have a, a sweet tooth per se, but when I do, I use monk fruit as a sweetener. All right, I don't wanna bore you with all the rest of the details. Uh, there's other healthy things in there, uh, but I want you to know that I drink this every single morning. I put a scoop in my coffee. I love coffee. I love a little chocolatey goodness, especially knowing it's healthy. And I love drinking one cup every single morning. So pretty much if you enjoy living, you need to order Cacao Bliss right now. Just go to earthechofoods.com forward slash Chris Sinog, C-H-R-I-S-S-A-J-N-O-G, and you will get 15% off your order if you use that link. Once again, that is earthechofoods.com forward slash Chris Sinog to get 15% off your order. And of course, I will put the link in the description below this video. All right, link in the description below, da, da, da. Earth Echo, yep, got it. Um, so I'm just checking my notes, making sure I got everything. So yeah, it looks like that's the last thing I have to do. Put the link in the description and uh, I'm gonna go do that right now. <laughs>